woven, woven in, the waves of time, in the waves of time, a relic of a half-forgotten a era, relic a lie, forgotten era. sensuous, transcendent, a, lie. a fabulous thing, sensuous. among the greatest, most storied wines of this world. The Madeira of 1795, thing. among the greatest, living most in your glass of now, this world, at the herb farm, the Madeira of 1795. When the American founding fathers raised a glass to toast to the Declaration of Independence, and it was with Madeira wine. Declaration, with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledged to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. <laughs> Gentlemen, may the works of our knights never fear the daylight to independence! For two centuries, Madeira was the wine of early America. George Washington's inauguration was toasted with Madeira. Francis Scott Key wrote the Star-Spangled Banner, a small glass of Madeira at hand. Families from Boston to Savannah built fabulous collections of Madeiras. Madeira parties, forerunners of today's wine tastings, were major events of the era. Step lively, lads! There'll be squalls ahead! Raise the mizzenmast! Hoist the jib boom and bring her about! Madeira wine comes from an island of the same name, located south of Europe and 400 miles off the tropical shores of West Africa. Known to the ancients, it was uninhabited, forgotten, until rediscovered by chance in 1419. The word Madeira means wood. The forests for which the early explorers named the island were cut and set ablaze. Legend tells us the fires burned for seven years. The ash produced fertile soils on the steep and breathtaking volcanic slopes. The island settlers planted grapes and sugarcane, which flourished in the mild climate. But it was the grape and the wine that soon made the island famous. Madeira, which had begun as a normal wine, was later fortified with brandy to help it survive the long months at sea. While sailing to British colonies around the world, the heat of the tropics actually improved the flavor in the casks of Madeira, making them rich and velvety. Those barrels that had crossed the equator twice became the most prized and fetched the highest prices. When sending Madeira around the world for sea conditioning became too expensive, the clever vintners built estufagums, solar-heated buildings, creating the same effect. The combination of grapes, brandy, and slow heating proved a magical formula. A formula for immortality. Most wines are dead and gone at age 100. At best, they are barely drinkable. But after a century, vintage Madeira is just reaching its prime, possessing not only the depth that great age brings, but also, remarkably, retaining the vigor and suppleness of youth. No other wine in the world can live for two centuries, offering you both the pleasure of antiquity with such profound pleasure. Old vintage Madeiras are among the greatest, most individual wines this planet has ever produced. They are the creation of a single summer, the sun, the rain, the soil, and the hands that toiled in the vines. Old Madeiras are time capsules, living things. They've survived time, war, weather, kings, and kingdoms. They possess a richness and a grandeur seldom seen and seldom tasted. Sadly, the world's stock of these irreplaceable wines is virtually deplete. The end has come for many of the storied antique vintages. History is vanishing before us. The Herb Farm 1795 Madeira is now the oldest wine offered by the glass anywhere in the world. The final bottles have been gathered, gleaned from the great cellars of the earth. One was secured from Glamis Castle in Scotland, the childhood home of the Queen Mother, the setting for Shakespeare's Macbeth. It has slumbered there for more than a century. 
Another was discovered in a hallowed cellar in Germany. As part of one of the great collections of wine in America, the Herb Farm's 1795 Madeira is an experience worthy of a journey, a great life occasion, or a celebration of being alive. Men and women have come from overseas to taste the magic of 1795. They were not disappointed. For some, the journey has been life-changing. No lover of wine, life, or the sweep of history should fail to experience this last chance to partake of this still-living moment from another era. Come and dine at the Herb Farm. Experience a taste of the 18th century on a last great voyage, a remembrance of times past, living on in you. The last of the 1795 Madeira, an experience available only at the Herb Farm. The Herb Farm, America's only five-diamond restaurant north of San Francisco and west of Chicago.